creating a costume piece, Project AA Part 1. Let me explain. From the get-go, I have envisioned Project A here to have a companion piece, namely a headpiece. The main component of the Project A universe is not quite done yet. Yesterday, I began to experiment with adding gems, both black and silver. However, the ones that I had ordered in advance for this thing were too big. Definitely need smaller gems, so I ordered some, and I await their arrival, and in the meantime, I had two options. I could add the closure magnet system to the back, or I could start on the headpiece, and the headpiece is what I am dreading more, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, let's get to it. We're gonna start by grabbing our thick wire out of storage. We are going to unfurl a chunk of it, play around in the mirror a little bit, and make a cut. Now, the idea that I have is to mimic this shape here for the headpiece. So I have a curved thing cut out like that. Now I'll play around in the mirror some more, kind of bending this thing around my head. This is very difficult. Just gonna full out bend it. There we go, we have the rough shape with the ends bent up. <laughs> it's so hard to reach up, like I can't, I can't do it, but... <laughs> That's the idea, can you see? So it's a little crown-like thing that we're making, and this is the start of it. And we are going to be, once again, using some X-pattern magic with this, and some spiral magic with this. Obviously, it'll be a much smaller scale than this puppy. So now we're gonna bend out another piece to mirror this one slightly. Roughly done. And now we are going to grab our slightly less thick wire from storage, cut out a tiny piece from it, bend some little loops on either side, place it onto these two pieces, lock into place, and presto, the crown is complete. I love making that joke, hearty har. I always forget how unbelievably irritating the starts of these projects are and how jumbled things get. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some black wire. Pull out a nice piece, cut, and lock this down. Now that this is sufficiently locked into place, I can add some placeholder tape because the thing is slipping and sliding a little too much, just so this doesn't move at all. There, and now we can play in the mirror. Now we're gonna add some support beams here and on this side wider than this one and we're gonna see if that works. So once again, snip, bend, hook, lock, boom. Add some more placeholder tape so I could fiddle with the shape a little bit more. And hey, hey, ho, ho, we're starting to get something. So now we're gonna add more support bars and we are going to try to do it as evenly as possible. So we're going to grab our handy dandy wet tape measure, I like to call it. Get the length, 15 millimeters. Isn't that lovely? 15 is a nice divisible number. So we are going to divide into five, like so. Same thing on the other side, making sure that this side is also 15 inches. And there we go. And now we're not even gonna bother marking off the bottom bottom layer here, because we're gonna add bars at all of these markers and then place them where it is pleasing to the eye on the bottom. We've landed on a repetitive activity, something that I live for. So here we go. <laughs> And unfortunately, we are out of time, so this is where we stop for the day. I have a number of bars added on this side, and I have one added here. It's becoming slightly warped and uneven, so we're going to have to fine-tune this tomorrow as we add the rest of the bars and maybe redo a few of them as well. But that's that. We have a start on a headpiece, which is more than I was expecting going into this, honestly. I thought it was going to be a whole day of misses. Now, a very, very quick word before I say see you later. If you're new to my creative world, if this video alarmed you slightly with all of this crunchy craziness and tape and twisted goodies. Just remember, this started off in the same place. So that's that, and until next time.